Laying it on my blade or cheat it on my blade. You can go and ask her, I can't know why. Hello everybody, welcome back to Vanina's Vibe. I hope you're doing great. I hope you're having a great day. We're gonna sit here, we're gonna uh, spill some coffee, and yeah, we're gonna get to know each other, we're gonna have fun, and I'm gonna tell you some really, really, really um, personal stuff. Um, I am alone today. I'm actually in my sister's house with Bruno. She is out of town, so I came here to just to watch him, feed him, hang out with him. He's not really my number one fan, but I think we're getting along better than usual. Right, Bubba? And he bit me. Um, Isla and James actually went to church today, and they got home not too long ago. He did some Thanksgiving shopping. Thank God I didn't have to. But, yeah, I just I wanted to stay here today just to kind of relax, get some work done with some peace and quiet. I love my daughter, but... All my parents out there know how I feel. So I found 25 TMI tag questions. Some of them are juicy, some of them look boring. But let's start. Let's get started. Question number one, what are you wearing? Well, like I just told you, I am wearing the Adidas. Don't have any idea what kind of bra this is. It's just a sports bra. I bought it at Marshalls probably a few months ago honestly and yeah and I don't really want to get up but I'm wearing leggings by I think the brand is 90 by reflex something like that I'll link it below I don't know but they're great leggings I personally love them have you oh we're getting deep have you ever been in love I'm gonna say yes I have been in love twice now in my life and I will not say I've been in love more one time than the other did that make any sense no but yes I have been in love twice I am currently in love with the second person in my life yes James um yeah I've been in love twice technically three times if you want to count me loving myself have you ever had a terrible breakup I wouldn't call it terrible I need to finish this I wouldn't call it terrible but I did break up with someone once because I cheated on them we didn't go all the way I did kiss somebody else and I told them the next day I wouldn't say it was terrible it's probably the most terrible thing I've ever done but they were definitely heartbroken and I'm not gonna tell that story maybe one day yeah, that's probably the most terrible breakup I've ever had mind you we're still friends we still talk to this day like we're cool there's no bad bad blood between us thank god how tall are you? Uh, I'm gonna say I'm 5'4", but I might really be 5'3", and on a good day, I'm 5'5". Five five. So you be the judge of that. And if you meet me and you tell me I'm short, I will agree. People think I'm normal height, I think I'm short. Moving on, how much do you weigh? Well, as of 20 minutes ago, I weigh 127 pounds, but as I've said that before, it does fluctuate, so I usually say I'm 130. Because on one day, I'll be 132. Another day, I'll be 127. Tomorrow, I might be 135. Who really knows? Do you have any tattoos? Yes, I do. You might have seen them in other videos. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. No. One, two, three. Oh, four, five, six, seven. I have seven tattoos. If you want to count a really small one, I guess technically I have eight. But yes, I do have tattoos. I might do uh, what my tattoos mean and what I plan on doing for tattoos. Because a lot of my tattoos actually aren't technically done. They're done, but I want to add to them. And then I have plans to get a lot more tattoos. Ooh, do I have any piercings? Currently, no. Past piercings, I have had... I never really like wore earrings, but I did have gauges. I'll insert a picture here of me with my gauges. I got my gauges up to a size 3 4 If you don't know what that means, look it up. Uh, yeah, I went up to a 3 4 and after that, I just took them out after a few years of having them. It was mainly because of a job that I got that they were like, we don't do that. My list of pierced things. I also, I have, do have like 
two on this side and one on this side above where my gaiters were, but I never wear earrings there, so it doesn't even matter. I've had my septum pierced, that only lasted a few months, and I had to hide it from my mother because I did it when I wasn't supposed to and she didn't know. I actually even had my back um, dimples pierced, and that is probably something I truly regret because my body rejected the metal and the bar just kind of came out and I have a huge scar on the bottom of my back from that fucking piercing. I've also had my girls pierced and if you don't know what that means, doesn't matter and if you do, you know, but I no longer have them pierced. And yeah, that's actually the only piercings I've ever had. I've never been much of a piercing person. I'm definitely more of a tattoo person. What is your favorite show? My, f I don't have a favorite show, but I would say my top three favorite shows, Scandal, Gossip, mm, would I put that in my top three? Yeah, Scandal, Gossip Girl, and Girlfriends, actually my top favorite three. I can't really pick one out of all of those three, but I can watch reruns of all of those shows a million times. If you haven't seen them all, check them out. And I'm gonna throw in there Criminal Minds because that's my favorite law enforcement, whatever you call it, show. It's definitely the best. Is that what that says? Okay. What are your favorite bands? Vampire Weekend, Jonas Brothers, Blink-182. Um, yeah, those are my top favorites. That's it. <laughs> um, how old are you? I am 23 years old as of 10 days ago. Yes, uh, Jordan year. I am 23, 1996, baby. What is your zodiac sign? So yes, I am a November baby, November 14th to be exact. Let me move this, cause that's in the way. Uh, I am a Scorpio. Don't ask me what my rising moon, all of that stuff is. Just know I'm a Scorpio and that's all you need to know. Moving on, qualities you look for in a partner. Um, someone I can respect and someone that can respect me. Someone respectable, pretty much. Uh, someone who can hold me accountable. Someone who's honest and even brutally honest. Someone I can hold accountable. Someone who isn't afraid to be so, so open that we tell each other when we're pretty much doing bad shit. Someone who can hold me accountable. Um, someone funny, someone smart. James is very, very, very smart. Not that funny, but that's where I come in. <laughs> um, and someone who's loyal. And loyalty doesn't just mean not cheating, lying, or whatever, that stuff. Li loyalty means being there for me. At the end of the day, I'm your partner. You put me above everything else, not everything, but above everything else that I would want to be above. Loyalty is I am loyal to you and that's pretty much it. That's my first perfect partner Have you ever been in a physical fight? Yes Damn it, I don't know if I should say her name. I can like easily say her full name, but I'm not going to uh, no bad blood It was a middle school fight one of those petty petty things girl. She said he said talk 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 I won even though I didn't really win it was more like I walked away because I had the upper hand and I was like I'm not gonna continue to fight because that's not the kind of person I am and I walked away but yeah that's, I think that's the only physical fight I've ever been in other than like scrabbling with my sisters which used to get pretty intense but we're grown now but yeah that's probably the only physical fight I've ever really been in what are my turn-ons um brains if you're talking about something random facts like if you tell me a random fact I'm gonna be like wow tell me more like I said I love someone smart I love someone who can get deep with me if you can have a deep conversation with me and I don't mean aliens deep I mean like deep deep um, I love that that's a huge turn on for me someone who understands my love language someone who can adapt to my love language someone who can coddle me and be there I don't know that someone who can be my love language obviously that's a turn on for anyone and someone who's passionate 
someone who's passionate about what they love and about their family and about everything in life. And that's a huge turn on for me. What are my turn offs? Someone who's too cocky. So co con cocky people. People who don't hold them themselves accountable. People who go through life as if they've never done anything wrong. And when they do wrong, it's like, oh, whatever. I don't, I don't like that. A huge turnout for me is ignorance. The more you get to know me, the more you learn. I don't believe ignorance is bliss. Uh, if you're ignorant, I don't like you. I don't like immature, ignorant people, period. So that's a huge turn off if you're immature or ignorant. And that's pretty much it. The reason you joined YouTube. I did video editing in high school. Oh, well, really, I did journalism in high school. And through that, I got into video editing because we had to shoot, shoot videos for journalism. And I, I love documentaries. I love movies, like I said. I love film. I love the idea of taking someone's life and making something of it through a vision that no one else can have but yourself. I want to tell my own story because I have a lot to say and people always say you have a lot to say and like you have a great you have a great way of reaching people and talking to people and being honest and being brutal and people need to hear it and I just I want to spread a message. I want to spread love. And from the other side of that, I want my daughter to have something she can look back to. Uh, when she was actually first born, me and James, we actually stopped doing it, but we have to get back on it. We used to do like little video diary series. Like we had videos of when we went hiking, when she was first born. She wasn't with us, but we're like, we'd be like, look where we are, like, we're here and you're at your grandma's house, but like, you'll see this in a few years and you're gonna be like, wow, my parents did all of this. And I just love documenting my life. I think it's really cool to be able to document your life and have it somewhere forever for your daughter for my grandkids for everyone to just look at and that's why I started YouTube <laughs> what are your fears or phobias I don't really have any phobias I kind of have a fear of being alone in the house I'm alone right now but it's an apartment so it's a little bit different it's only five o'clock but if it's like later in the night and I'm home alone especially in my house house I freak out. I get really, really scared. I have a huge fear of being home alone at night. But other than that, no crazy phobias. Like nothing off the, like nothing crazy, I guess. I don't really have any other fears. I do have, I don't like to say I have anxiety. I don't like that. I don't like people always saying they have anxiety. But I do have fears that I think everyone has that come out a little stronger sometimes. And I probably will get into that into another video, but I do have realistic fears that affect me more than they should. And I don't know if you can make sense with that, but maybe you can, maybe you can, but I will definitely talk more about that in another video. What are your biggest superstitions? That we're being watched. Through like last six questions, like do, 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 do. What age did you start drinking alcohol? Like for referral, 16. Have you ever been caught in any sexual acts? Yes, but no, because I didn't really know it was a sexual act because I kind of hit it really well, but we had to like stop because someone walked in. Uh, if you could get married to any celebrity, who would it be? Rihanna? Rihanna. What are your guilty pleasures? Mm liquor and coffee uh have you ever been in a pool yes uh and have you ever been arrested no i've been in handcuffs but i've never like been booked and yeah i that's all i have for you today i hope you enjoyed i hope you got to know me a little better this was a really weird video um <laughs> subscribe like share comment down below any more questions or anything you want to tell me because of how i answered and i hope this let you know a little bit more information about me. Don't run away. Me and Bruno want to say thank you for watching. And I hope you have a great night, day, evening, wherever you are. Whatever time it is. Yeah, bye -bye. And say bye. He's not like Isla. He can't talk. But bye. Have a good one, you guys. Mwah.